Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome again. Once again, I've been really quiet of late. Um, stuff going on, but we're back here. I do have Uju, right? That's the right yes, pronunciation right. of your name. Yes, yes, I do have Nigerian <laughs> friends too. So I do have Uju, um, a YouTuber friend of mine. We recently got acquainted, and I just found out some interesting facts about her and and her journey to Ghana. She's back to Nigeria now. You know, so we uh, we decided to sit down today and talk about it, what she saw in Ghana. I hope and I dream one day I'll be able to visit Nigeria myself. But since you've been able to make this yeah, journey, I want you to tell people what you saw, what you think about Ghanaians and stuff like that. So welcome to the show again, would you uh, tell, tell, tell me about yourself? Hi, thank you, Gideon, for having me on your channel today. My name is Uju. No, I am a chef. I am a professional chef. I'm a baker, and I'm also a content creator, YouTuber. So okay. that is what I do professionally. Yeah. So oh, is this YouTube like a a part time thing you're doing now, or it's a full time? I'm not really part, taking, so you have two full time no. jobs. Yes, I have two full time jobs. I'm not really taking YouTube as a full time job. But I just have to create time, like from my spare time to like create content on YouTube. So that is how it is basically for me. So what type of content are you creating? I, I've watched a few videos on your channel, but let's okay. hear what you have to say for this. All right, Gideon, thank you. On my channel, I promote African culture, lifestyle, you know, and I do travel vlogs a lot. So recently I started doing travel vlogs and I create content about myself, my business, I vlog about my business, myself, my family, and I also promote African cultures and lifestyle. So that's what I do right. on my channel. Yeah. So so that is why you found yourself in Ghana. Yes. You know, I worked <laughs> in Ghana. I've lived in Ghana. You know, okay. basically all my kids, I give birth to them in Ghana. So coming back again to Nigeria. So I've lived in Ghana for close to six years. Yes, okay, I stayed in okay. Ghana for six years. Yeah, so so I came back to Nigeria. So most times I do go back to Ghana. You know, Ghana is just like a second home to me. So I can't just stay back in Nigeria without going back to Ghana for a while. You know, Ghana is a very right. lovely place to be. Right. So beautiful. Okay, so yeah. so I don't mean to cut you off here, would you? Um. Okay. So what specifically, what specifically keeps bringing you back to Ghana? What and how did you end up being between these countries, I know you're originally from Nigeria, but yeah. how how did you even end up in Ghana? And you just said six years. I thought you just this was your first time in Ghana. Ah, uh, no, wow. no, so no, 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 no. Tell no. us about it. How <laughs> did this come about? Okay, what keeps bringing me back to Ghana is the hospitality. How beautiful Ghana is. Their food, especially, to us keeps bringing me back to Ghana. And again, <laughs> business. You know. As a Nigerian, and my husband is into business, he does all those motor parts and spare parts. So basically, okay. he does his business there in Ghana. So it keeps bringing me back to Ghana, to and fro, you know, often. So I keep going back to Ghana to visit Ghana, to see most of the people I left uh, behind back there in Ghana. And, you know, to enjoy their food again. That food is what is drawing me back <laughs> to Ghana and how Ghanaians are. <laughs> So, uh, you know, they, they are people that, that has open mind. They are open-minded people. Let me say, let me use this okay. way. They are open-minded people. And uh, yes, so they are welcoming, you know. That is the reason why I keep going back to Ghana. If Ghana didn't treat me well, I won't go back to Ghana yeah. again. But due to how lovable they are, so I keep going back to Ghana every time. Any opportunity I have now, I'm going back to Ghana. Even if it's for the holidays, I'm going back to Ghana, you know. That is just it. That's really um, warming to hear that people from Ghana or people in Ghana are really this welcoming. And then I, mm -hmm. I'd like to use this opportunity to t also tell you Nigerians are really good people. I um I have a few friends from Nigeria yeah, here you. in America, and um, I have been friends with a few for at least close to a decade now, like 10 years in the friendship and in the making. And one thing I, I always tell them and I tell everybody when I meet anybody that 
bring this topic up is you guys are resilient. You guys are really hardworking. And one thing special about Nigerians that I could tell you for sure is you don't see the limit, which is what busts my mind. Like it, it always, I don't get why. Um, it's almost like any Nigerian you ever meet and talk to has that spirit. You don't see the limit. Your your recent visit to Ghana, what what was the motive? What, like what motivates you to keep doing what you're doing, having a family, um, and also being able to add another job and doing YouTube and podcasting slash all the stuff you're doing. What's the motivation behind this? You know, I love traveling a lot. So I love traveling a lot. So I just the opportunity to like create content. And another motivation again is my husband is the one that keeps on pushing me to like, you know, create more content. It's like motivating me to like, like create more content, do what you love doing. Because I love, in fact, I love uh, coming on TV, you know, coming on phone, talking, you know, showing people, showcasing Africa to the world. Right. Bringing out the beauty of a particular country, a particular place that I am. So that is what keeps me going. I love travels a lot. And my husband, too, is like a motivation to me. Well, big ups to your husband and great job, sir. For Thank helping, you. Um, <laughs> for helping your wife up. Yeah. Not every husband is actually out here doing that. Um, I can tell you for sure. So mm-hmm. we really do appreciate your husband for showing this massive support. And then All right. I think Thank it's you. a good thing. It's a good thing because it keeps yeah. you going. I can see the enthusiasm. You're always posting, smiling, <laughs> you know, and that, yeah. that's, that's, that's something good to know. So tell, tell me about your recent yeah. visit to Ghana. We're not going to have a Jollof war on here, because, but I'm just going to ask you about the food <laughs> also <laughs> because just because you mentioned the good food, you kept saying the good food, good food in Ghana. So I want to know what type mm-hmm. of good food you were actually talking about. But yeah, tell me about your um, recent visit in Ghana and what um, what, what happened and what you saw? Okay. Uh, my recent visit to Ghana was, uh, was something I planned initially. I planned it earlier on. I wanted going to Ghana last year, but something came up. I had lots of work to do, so I couldn't go. So this year, I have to reschedule it and planned my going to Ghana this year. And going to Ghana this year was something I genuinely want to go, you know, I really missed Ghana a lot and I needed to go there. There's some places I could not visit while I was in Ghana back then. So I decided to use this opportunity to like, let me travel down to Ghana again and visit these beautiful places in Ghana and uh, see how it is and know the cultures and traditions of Ghanaians, you know, more. You know, as of then, I didn't really put interest to know uh, the cultures and the uh, traditions of Ghana, but I really love Ghanaians a lot, but I never had that opportunity at the time. You know, then I was still uh, pregnancy and other things were, was not really giving me the time, the opportunity to, you know, to like tour around Ghana and see how beautiful that country is. So this year, and I decided to, like, I'm going to travel down to Ghana and, you know, experience those beauties for myself, you know, have a nice time, relax, you know, have your meal, you know, and that's just it. <laughs> that's my intention. That is the motive I have traveling down to Ghana. That's it. Okay, so so what is the food you're talking about? Do you have a favorite Ghanaian dish or <laughs> it's just yes, like I do. So I can't I uh, see I don't I don't joke with uh the light soup and the banku soup and the banku no sorry the light soup and banku. And my watching, okay. so that those two <laughs> are my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> those is, two are my is, favorite. Is there is there a food in Ga- in Nigeria? I'm sorry, in Nigeria that has some similarities with this food, or you just like it because you've uh, never had anything like that? No, you know there is no no there is no food that's similar to those uh the light soup and the banku no we don't have such in nigeria here but during my stay back then in ghana i really enjoy eating those meals you know there are times i'll just have like five cities ten cities you see me going to the next store like a restaurant to get those things because i'm oh, craving wow. you know <laughs> what you enjoy eating you would want to go back to that particular place again to eat it the more you know so i really missed it so that was number one thing that really took me back to ghana their food 
to have a taste of their food and to know how to cook it. So going back to Ghana again, I, I really learned how to cook it. So whenever I come back to Nigeria, if I'm craving for light soup and banco, I can make it myself right now. Wow, that that's, a, that's really impressive. That's a smart woman right there. Yeah. Knowing how, and then I do mm -hmm. know that because we in Africa have similar um, food uh, dishes, you're definitely going to get the ingredients in Nigeria to prepare bangkum if you wanted to. Yeah. So that, that yeah. was kind of really a yeah. good, uh, smart idea over there. Um, so what are the places did you visit apart from just going to do business? Did you have the opportunity to go to any other place at all? Uh, yeah, I visited, uh, I wanted visiting the Osu Castle, but then it was still on renovation. In fact, every other place I visited in Ghana was on renovation. Uh, Kwame and Krumah Park. Yes, all those places were, uh, were on renovation, but I still went there and, you know, but I, I never had the opportunity to enter into those places because they were on renovation. So I went to the Black Star Square, the Osu Castle, Kwame and Krumah Park, at the Accra Mall, you know, and there's some other places again that I did not have a chance to visit. But my next visit again, I'm still going to go back there. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm sorry you didn't get the chance. But hey, to make yeah. it better, to make you feel better, I've only visited one of the places mm -hmm. you, you, you just talked about. That's the Black Star Square, really? I think. It's the only place I visited. But I was, so, I was so young, I don't even remember <laughs> So um, oh. I do have a lot of places oh. to go. When I finally show my face in Ghana, there's so many things I want to do. I don't think the time that I will be coming will actually be enough. Let's talk about your channel itself. Yeah. I know we did mention it. What okay. is your, what's your long-term goal for your channel? What, what do you want to see oh. your channel doing? You know, I just uh, want to be consistent, you know, being consistent. And, uh, you know, okay. create more uh, content that are educational, you know, that people will want to, like, come back to my channel and watch and get more information. That is my long-time goal. You know, I don't, I don't just want to create content that uh, people will just, like, sweep off away and go and pass by. So I really want to create content that would make people want to come back to my channel and stay glued to my channel, you know, contents that are informative, that is uh, what I really want to do for, right. for my channel. Hey, can you go ahead and um, tell us the name of your channel? I know your channel, but our listeners and viewers will know uh -huh. your channel's name. So what's your channel's name? Okay, UJTV. UJUJTV. Okay, so there's the I, I have one last question that I have to ask you. Okay. I have to ask you. But before that, I do have a, a, a next question that I wanted to ask you. We can move forward to the other question I just talked about. It, it's a question that okay. um, I think I think the basis or the reason more, the driving force of my channel is actually based mostly depending on this particular topic. And so it'll be kind of weird. It wouldn't be full if I don't ask you that question. And then this is about in, 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 okay. in uh, the African-Americans in 2019, the president of Ghana announced that, well, he started from 2018 and in 2019, he made it official okay. and then em embraced the African-American and every black person in the okay. Caribbean, which is Jamaicans and all of the other guy, Haitians and all that with open arms to be able to visit Ghana. And because we all know where mm -hmm. the straight trades, uh, so, excuse me, um, slave trade started from. They started from Africa, West yeah. Africa to be specific. So he mm -hmm. opened his arms and opened the borders of Ghana to people was of that nature to come back to Ghana. And even if possible, if they wanted to relocate, he was embracing that as well. Really? And then, um, yeah, yeah. So, so my question to you is, if you know anything about it, um, you're not a Ghanaian, you're from Nigeria, but like I said, mm -hmm. you're from Africa, you're an African too. What do you think about that? Do you think yeah. that's a good idea? It's a very good idea, yes. So, uh, you know, the president of Ghana is really doing well for uh, African-Americans to, like, come back to their home, you know. So to me, I think it's a nice idea for him to bring such thing up for uh, uh, in Ghana. I think it's a nice thing, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, because I also there's see there's two sides of the coin, right? I've also seen other African Americans that are like, oh, this is not my home. This is not where I am from. Yeah. You know, because and I understand that mm-hmm. because they're not born there. They were born in maybe they're born in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. They were born in America here in mm-hmm. another in a state in America. So they really have the right yeah. to say I'm not from there. But in my own opinion, mm-hmm. I think what this means though is he's not saying to come back and stay in Ghana or do I see, in Ghana, yeah. you know he's just basically yeah. saying at least it's it's good I, I was actually um, before, I, yeah the other time I had Dr. Ayo he's he's Nigerian too Dr. Ayo was saying something that was really sensible that I had I, I was discussing with in my previous um mm-hmm. posting that I posted on my channel what he said was that everybody know where they are from everybody has a connection you know Asians mm-hmm. know they're from yeah. Asia. So even if they're born in America, they know their mm-hmm. ancestors are from Asia. So why? what is the difference between mm-hmm. that for, with, and for Black people in America? Yes, you were born in America, mm-hmm. you were raised here. But his point that he was raising made so much sense to me, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Right? At least you know mm-hmm. your, your background. At the end of the day, someone took your ancestors from Africa somewhere. You don't specifically have to know no. exactly which part to at least try to go see where the place is or how it's like. I think uh, the president of Ghana is trying to pave way for people that are out there, like Black um, Africans, Americans that are there to like come home and see um, how their country is. They know they are from this particular country, but it's not really telling them to locate down back to Ghana and stay permanently. It's just for them to like have a view of uh, how their country is know their language, know their traditions, and know where they really come from. Like there's so many Africans in America today, they don't know their roots. They've forgotten their roots. They don't know where they really come from. You know, there are some people in Ghana from the Ashanti part of Ghana, the Ashanti region, they don't know where in particular they are from, like Ashanti region. They don't know where they are, their family, their roots, you know, because they've lived most of their lives abroad. They don't really know anything about their culture. They don't really know anything about their traditions. They don't know where they come from. They cannot speak their local dialect. So I think the president of Ghana is trying to like pave way for them to like come back and know their traditions and be able to like speak and understand their local dialect. So that is what I think the president of Ghana is just like trying to do. Yeah, that's and that's a good point. That's a good point you got there. It's just that you know yeah. sometimes you just can't win everybody over with yeah. certain, um, simple understanding. There are people that are like, with all the stuff you just said, they still don't get it. There's no point. Yeah. And I mean, I respect that, you know? So yeah, we, we let's mm-hmm. move on from there. But I just wanted to pry your mind and see what you feel about it. Because I did see you talk okay. about it on your channel, like you said. Yeah. And um, so you got to be honest about this. What is your favorite okay. Ghanaian music? That was the big question I wanted to ask you. <laughs> so, you all know now eh, there, are, there are songs that you know let me use a uh, um, not traditional songs too you know Shatawale okay. and the rest Stone Boy Shatawale uh, King Promise I think yeah so but uh, all of them are Shatawale so that's uh, <laughs> I you think like I like Shatawale's music a lot, yeah. Okay, that's new. So what specifically, what song specifically do you like about Shatawale? <laughs> Good deal. What's from, from him? What song? Uh, I mean, there has to be a song that made you like the guy, right? Um, so that's what I'm trying to get. Yeah. Why is that song in here? I don't know. Oh, so he just like the entire everything Shatawale. So you are like the die high, uh, die hard fan of Shatawale, yeah. where he does anything and it's not anything for you. Even mm-hmm. when he's doing wrong, it's not wrong in your eyes. Kind yeah, of support. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, I think I think I can live with that. I, I can live with that. I mm-hmm. mean, um, my my me for example, I like you said, I don't have a single favorite song from Ghana. And if you ask me really? my favorite song from Nigeria, I won't be able to tell you because it's a, a lot of good stuff. A lot of talented people oh. from Nigeria, a lot of musicians from Nigeria. Thank you. And, and, even, and even those that don't 
get a lot of light, like Malik Berry. You know Malik Berry, right? Mm -hmm. Malik Berry, yeah. He is a good composer. He's a really good yeah. musician, but he he's not really talked about as much. But he's good. He's good. I like I like him. I like him a lot. Though I think back in twenty was it twenty eighteen twenty nineteen, the series of songs he brought out, "Give Me Life." Oh. Mm -hmm. Mary, I want to marry you, and then with DJ Jules, yeah. those guys when they meet, it's fine. they're really trying, so, yeah. You know, so yeah, it's and then there's David Do, there's Burner Boy, you know, so there's just so much. Baby Joe, I just, yeah, Boy. <laughs> exactly. I wanted to know what yeah. you would say because I knew most people would not be able to tell between their favorite songs when it comes to Ghana and uh, yeah. music. But yeah, I mean, at least mm -hmm. you have one artist that you like, so that's a plus. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so what, is there any tip that you have for first time travelers like to Ghana? Um, okay, first time travelers to Ghana just hold a lot of money, you know. You need to like for hotel, like you okay. have to book an hotel for uh to eat, you know, transportation to various places you're going to visit, you know, just hold a lot of money. Yeah, okay. that's just it. So all you need is money. It's just like Ghana is very safe. Rule. Yeah, Ghana is so safe. Yeah. So don't be scared. Ghana is safe. There's nothing like robbery or kidnapping. Anything. Are just you sure? go with your money. Are you free. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> Ghana is very okay. safe. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Safe. So do you have guys any questions for me at all? Do you have any questions? I don't really have any questions for you, Gideon. You're doing so well. I love what you're doing. So keep doing what you're doing that's just it well thank you i'm learning from people like you and your husband and, and the <laughs> so <laughs> it's nothing big i'm just learning i'm looking at stuff that you guys are doing i was like okay well maybe i could try to do the exact same thing or as, at least try to put my own way and do my own thing that's on the side as we go but yeah thank you so much would you for taking okay. time and talking to me we did have a lot of disturbances with network related and just technical Arrow, problems yeah. and stuff like that and then um but, yeah. hey, i do appreciate the fact that you're able to take time today and join me here let's do this again like i said i promise i wasn't going to take so much of your time so i mm -hmm. am really really grateful and appreciative for you taking time and actually talking to me let's do this again and keep doing what you're doing the sky is the limit yeah. Thank you, everyone, for taking time. If you watch up to this point, I say thank you. And you've been watching Africa Chat. And today, my guest name was Uju. She's originally from Nigeria. Who do I, should I say you live in Ghana also part time? Oh, part time. <laughs> yeah, so Uju lives <laughs> between Ghana and Nigeria. So right now, Nigeria. you have to find Uju a Ghanaian name because she's half Ghanaian, half Nigerian, just like myself. Half Nigerian. I'm, I'm yeah. half Nigerian, half Ghanaian because why really? not? You know, because why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually kidding, but I'm full. I'm full Ghanaian, 100% <laughs> Ghanaian. But I like to be identified as half Ghanaian, half Nigerian, just because. Yeah, yeah. You know, we love each other. We may fight. You guys see yeah. us on the Twitter, Twitter app, or on the ground <laughs> going at each other. Don't get involved yeah. in you know, other countries because at the end of the day, Ghanaians still come back and Nigerians still come back yeah. and be one. Yeah. So, yeah, you've been watching yeah. Africa Chat. And also, let me just chip this in here. I'm coming up with another uh, podcast. It's going to be an audio podcast. I will be talking more about myself, how I see the society and stuff like that. I very much like with you to be joining if she's available and whoever else i think eventually i'll get people to join me but yeah for now check out for my second channel i'll be calling it the um, facts of life matter of fact i have the first episode that will be posted soon so stay tuned and catch up with that if you love africa chat if you love what i'm doing just please take a moment anytime you join and go check that at the other side. It's not going to be an audio. It's going to be, a, um, I'm not going to be a video. It's going to be an audio podcast. So just keep that in mind. And with that, we are out. Thank you guys so much.